this is the 25,000 calorie challenge. And what better way to start it off than with the 10,000 calorie challenge? We're doing our first ever 10,000 calorie challenge today. The day is finally here. The 10,000 calorie challenge. For years. Wait, this isn't intense enough. <clears throat> For years, fitness YouTubers have been attempting crazy eating challenges. Oi, Joe, I can't lie, this intro is like really, really cringy. Wait, legit? I thought it was like comedy gold. Yeah, like it's not even funny, it's just pretty stupid. Yo, what's up YouTube? So in today's video, I've got a selection of fitness YouTubers to basically control my life for a day, including when I wake up, what I eat, what's included in my workout, activities, all of that sort of stuff. I said to them, make it as crazy, as stupid as possible. So in today's video, I think you may be seeing me getting on the edge of tortured. So for the YouTuber deciding to start my day, we have got the one, the only, Matt does fitness. Luca, can you stop? So the first thing that Matt got to choose was what time I wake up. And here's what he said. Joe, good evening. Okay, so I would like you to wake up at 12.01 a.m. Wait, just rewind. A.m. Yep, you heard that right. 12.01 a.m. So one minute after midnight. So the current time right now is... 5 p.m. to get a decent amount of sleep. This is about the time which I need to go to bed. So I'm gonna try and make my room as dark as possible and get to sleep. So as requested, two past midnight. Cheers, Matt. <laughs> And after waking up technically very early, Matt also got to decide my breakfast. Uh, for breakfast, I'd like you to have an entire loaf of brown bread with nothing on it whatsoever. So Matt has been lovely to me again, and I've got to eat a whole loaf of brown bread. Now, I don't know why it's on a plate or anything, I just thought it would look cool for the camera. Thinking about it now, it's pretty stupid. I'm not the biggest fan of brown bread as it is, but brown bread with nothing on is going to be horrible. Like the whole loaf of this. Delicious. Oh my god, that is so... That is so dry and so hard to swallow. It just took me like 45 seconds to eat a whole bite and I've got the rest of this. Just wish me luck. <laughs> So close. I've got two more slices and then I've got like whatever's left on the plate. <sighs> we have finally completed it. That took me 50 minutes. That was the most disgusting thing I think I've ever eaten in a challenge video. It's so like salty and dry. Matt, I'll give you props. You do know how to make a hard eating challenge. Then it was about 3.36 in the morning and I needed some way to pass the time. So... Not a good idea, that was freezing. After surviving hypothermia, it was time for meal number two. There you go again. Okay, so it is a bit later right now, 9 a.m. For breakfast number two, we have got this guy. I think he doesn't need any introduction. Brownie, Stan Brownie. Absolutely love his videos. He's more on the kind of calisthenics route, but his videos, I look up to his editing so much. Right, let's have a look at what Stan wants me to eat. What's up, Joe? For for food, I want to see you eat pancakes, protein pancakes. Obviously, obviously, always a good choice. Enjoy it, man. Protein pancakes. Right then, let's get to making that now.
Right, so we've got some protein pancakes. Not had these in a while, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a taste test. Right, now, because Stan is very highly credited for how good his video editing skills are, we're gonna finish this pancake brownie style. Pancake done. Actually tasted a lot better than I remember. Thank you, Stan, that was actually a decent choice. Stan clearly does not want me to suffer like Matt does. <laughs> But in all seriousness, that was actually pretty good. Just a little bit of a plug here. If you want to get anything, including the protein pancake mix, off my protein, use my code Joe, and you get 30% of your off your order. Just click the link down below. Right, let's get on to the next meal. Right. For meal number three, we've got the bodybuilder himself, Brandon Harding. Now, I've spoke to Brandon on multiple occasions, and he's honestly one of the nicest guys I've ever spoken to. Super humble, super down to earth. But let's see what he's getting me to eat. All right, Joe Fazer, my meal option for you is gonna be a chicken bagel cereal sandwich. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all in a single meal. Cook it, toast it, whatever you wanna do with it. You're gonna be dunking the chicken breast into some flour and some egg. Crush up a cereal of choice. I would recommend Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Golden Nuggets. And then dunk the chicken that is slathered in flour and egg into the cereal, coat it, couple times, fry it, cook it in a pan, cook it in the oven, do whatever you want with it, and then put it in between your nice bagel. There is your meal of choice. Chicken bagel, cereal sandwich. Enjoy. That is definitely the most creative one on there. Weirdly, I'm excited to try this. You know, I want to get my gains like Brandon, so let's eat like Brandon. So let's go food shopping to get this weird food. Okay, and we are back. We've got all of the ingredients. Let's get to making this. However, because I am known for being a really bad cook, as you guys know, we need like a professional chef to help us out on this. So. Hi, I'm here to help Joe. I've seen all your comments about Joe not seasoning anything and I'm, I'm here to help with that. I've done one of these before, so we're gonna do it again. This is episode two of Cooking with Tom. Okay, so what we've done so far is just beat up the eggs, put it in a bowl, put flour in a bowl, pretty simple. Cut up the chicken so it's got like a bigger surface area, so when I'm coming to cooking it, it'll cook quicker. We grinded up the cereal. Yeah, just grind up the cereal. Tom did that with his massive muscles, muscles. bigger than mine. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay then, so, Chef Tom, do you want to do the honors? Basically, put a piece of chicken in there. Glad to. Put it in the egg. Yeah, soak it around. Now the flour. Chuck it in the flour. Yeah. Now chuck it in the cereal. <laughs> what is this, Brandon? I've been drinking, I'm driving while texting the speed, and I swear that I ain't going home. You hold my phone and won't leave me alone. I'm blank, see, blank, go with my drone. I'm on go with my drone, drone, go with my drone, drone, go with my drone. So, this isn't gonna taste good. This is definitely an interesting choice of food. You Three, cheers. Two, cheers. Three, two, one. To be fair, being real, I thought that was going to be disgusting, but it's not even... Yeah. It's sort of just flavour. Yeah, to be honest, I thought it would be like, you said, horrible. It's not that bad, <laughs> but it's not that good, obviously. I mean, just look at it. <laughs> it just tastes like cinnamon. Right, should we get to finishing this? Cheers. Let's do it. All done. Cinnamon's buns done. Honest opinion, a lot better than we thought. Yeah, not horrible, not great. On out of the three things I've had so far, at the top we brown in his protein pancakes. Second, we have Brandon and his weird Frankenstein style food conception. Full day bagel. Yeah, full day bagel. And then of course at the bottom, Matt and his loaf of brown bread. He just wants you to suffer, doesn't he? <laughs> that is a pre-workout meal. Now it's time for the workout. Right then, so for the workout, choosing exercise one, we've got the one, the only, Nathaniel Messiah. Take it away, Nathaniel. What's up, Joe? So, I want you to squat the weight of your little brother for as many reps as possible. All right, cool. Right, you are the chosen one. You ready for me to squat you? No. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, this hurts. This hurts. You ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right, so I think I got like 11 or something like that. Tombo, apparently it was hurting him so much. So I had to stop. I reckon I could have got a couple more in there. Next, we need to do a bit of back. So, who better than the back guy? Take it away. <laughs> I'm just sexy for my chair. Oh, fucking cardio. What's up guys, just got done doing my 10 by 10 lap pull downs. Just my daily routine, you know. Joe Facer, he's a skinny bloke. It's pester all the time and all that nonsense. Joe, you should do that. 10 by 10 pull downs. Last set should be RP10. As requested by the small back man himself, 10 by 10 lap pull downs. Right, exercise number three. Take it away, Matt. Um, in terms of an exercise, I think it's best that you do uh, stiff-legged deadlifts for 10 sets of 30 reps. Have fun, mate. What is it with 10 sets? <sighs> Ten sets done. Right, so for the final set, we've got Brandon Harding again. Brandon, what have you got for us? Joe Fazer, my workout exercise of choice. This is to be completed at the end of your workout because I've got a feeling that if you do this, you're not really gonna wanna do any more. Squats, supersetted with a glass of milk. Milk bottle squats. Get two four liter jugs of milk, red top or green top. We need to stay on a diet. 20 body squats per set, six sets in total. So you're gonna be holding your jugs, squat down, one rep, 20 reps in total. After every single set, you have to drink 250 milliliters of milk to superset your 20 squats. And this is to complete your workout. Enjoy. So, that, that, <laughs> that won't be good. <laughs> You're gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick, 100%. Right then, let's do this. All the choices you made, did you make them again? Again, again, again. All the lies that you told, did you believe in them? Brain freeze. Ah. Did you make the again? Fourth set of milk. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Fifth set of milk. Done. Final. 
glass of milk. If I drink this, I would have had 1.5 liters in like the space of 10 minutes, so. <sighs> right, I, I've done. I've just done that, I genuinely think I might. I genuinely think I might be sick right now, wait. And this is a video of me being sick. Uh, I obviously didn't, for obvious reasons, get a close-up of it. I don't think like you or anyone or even YouTube would want that. It'll probably get me demonetized. But I'm not just saying this. I, wa I was actually sick. I mean, I just drank 1.5 liters of milk in the space of 10 minutes. It would be pretty uncommon if I wasn't sick after that. So it's been about half an hour since the incident. And what better for a post-workout meal than a Ben & Jerry's, which Ryan Dengler told me to have for my post-workout meal specifically. Now, don't get me wrong, Ben & Jerry's is lovely, and I would be ecstatic if I was just given this to eat. But this is a dairy product, and considering I've just had 1.5 litres of milk, it's kind of like the last thing I want. <laughs> Nevertheless, though, I don't think it can be as bad as before, so let's get on to eating this. <laughs> Ben and Jerry's has been done. So it wasn't too bad. The start was lovely, like Ben and Jerry's is so good. The end, however, it kind of melted and turned into chocolate milk, which is like the last thing I want. Um, but it's actually mad. I finished that in 15 minutes and that's 1,092 calories just like that in 15 minutes. Like if you're doing an eating challenge, this would be perfect. But yeah, Ben and Jerry's completed. Right now, next I'm gonna be doing an activity. I'll show you what I mean. I'll tell you that now. Okay, uh, I'm really sorry it's like very dark. My box lights broke on me. True to my exercise, we've got Nathaniel Messiah. Now, I've known this guy for a while now, proper cool guy. Here's what he had to say. Secondly, I want you to go out into your garden and attempt a front flip. Like, first time, just go up and do it, yeah? By the way, I know I'm gonna look so stupid doing this. <laughs> Honestly, don't want to break my neck, so that's the best shot I'm going to give it. Now, you're probably wondering, why have I got a cheese and jam sandwich? Here's why. I want you to eat a cheese and jam sandwich, yeah? Don't ask questions, just, yeah. Here goes nothing. Oh. Right, that was disgusting. For the first time in all of these challenges, I'm not finishing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so it is the next day right now. How am I feeling? Well, for one, my legs are killing. That's probably because of the 10 sets of 30 on RDLs. But overall, I'm not feeling that bad. I think most of the stuff that I was doing, it was just horrible at the time. But yeah, I just, I really want to say thank you to every YouTuber who just kind of helped me out on this video and sent some ideas in. Literally like some of the guys like the back guy and Brandon Harding, they literally edited the video for me. And all I asked for was just like a video of them telling me what to do. So they went that extra mile and yeah, I just really appreciate stuff like that. I'll leave the links to all the people's channels who were in the video below. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. Also subscribed. Cheers, guys. Yo, what's up, guys? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, as you can see, not that many people who watch the videos are actually subscribed to the channel. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could just hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Cheers, guys.